Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about strings. Finally I made it! I did this vlog. Let's go straight into it. I've been always using dominant strings. Here is a good example of a very used <laughs> dominant string package. I put so many strings in one, I'm so not organized, I hope someone uh, can relate to this. The brand is called Domestic Infill Vienna. So I was actually really curious to try if they can even make a better product. It's called Dominant Balin Pro Strings. They come in this little box. It's very light, very nice to carry around. This um, little box contains a set of strings. They come with a little paper, which I really, really liked, which is this. You can see it has this Dominant Pro written here. It goes like this. Detailed explanations on what the strings are, what their, uh, their characteristic features are. You can see them as selling points and you can think, oh, whatever, they are just doing it to sell. But actually, they are really true. Trust me, I've tried so many strings, many brands, many different quality, many different price range. There are so many out there, but I really did try a lot strings so they are true bell like tonal character 100 percent the sound is very focused and you can hear the attack of the sound straight away which is really nice because it gives you that kind of um direct sound high resistant to bow pressure yes i find very hard to scratch when i use these strings you know if you press very hard which you never should by the way sometimes it might happen in the heat of the moment you just really want to give like a all a lot of pressure but then what happens is that the violin doesn't resist the string more than the violin doesn't resist the pressure of the bow on the string the scratch comes out like this if you're actually normally playing very loud you can't hear a scratch at all so it's very high resistant <laughs> Exceptionally powerful. I think that was clear. Good balance of brilliance and warmth. Now this was the point that made me actually go for the strings and made me fell in love with them. The other dominant, so this one, the classic ones, they were very good in terms of balance, but they were not giving my violin the best setup. It depends on which violin you have. Of course, every instrument is different, so bear in mind when you watch this and you, you think about, oh, well, it's gonna be the same on my violin. I can't guarantee you that, I don't know. But if your violin is just like mine, so it's very bright, really, really like on the top uh, strings, it gives everything, and then on the lower, not so much. You need to balance that out. So you need strings that actually um, make that kind of difference go away or at least enhance it. So the great thing about these strings is that the E string is very brilliant. At the same time, it doesn't affect the other strings. So the other strings don't suffer from it. They are really um, super warm, powerful, deep sound. And at the same time, you can't hear such a big difference. So you can hear that the, the E is brilliant, but at the same time, it doesn't just stick out out of nowhere. And then you go on the other string and it's like, oh, okay, that's a different thing. It's the same instrument. So they really made a great effort in balancing things out, but also keeping the different um, quality of the string. So E string has a brilliant sound, it should have. If you're playing a, a concerto or if you're playing a solo piece, like virtuoso, like very, you know, eye up, you, you need to have that brilliance. It shouldn't be everything warm. At least that's my taste and that's of, of course also my violins. I needed to find that kind of uh, combination. So it really uh, brought out the potential of the violin. And that's what a good string should, I think, should do. Very high level of dynamics. Yes, another great point. So it's not only great when it's forte and it's powerful, because I feel like sometimes when we try strings, we are not picky enough in a sense that we just try, it's great on a mezzo forte, forte level, fantastic, sounds great. But what about the piano dynamics? You can see very clearly, I'm not pressing now. It's completely on the top of the strings. This would be my pianissimo. Immediately the sound comes out, so the direct attack, the focus sound is amazing on the pianissimo sound. So I love the range of dynamics and the color that you can make with the strings. Suitable for soloists, 
Yes, soloists do need uh, to sometimes stick out from the orchestra or from the piano. It's not the same as playing in a group, in a string quartet, for instance. If you're playing in a string quartet, then that's not maybe what you would look for in a string set because uh, you would want your sound to blend with the lower strings because obviously you get the second violin if you're first violin, let's say, and then the viola and the cello. So let's say you're playing first violin, then you may want sometimes your melody to be on top, but then you want your sound to blend when you're doing harmony part. Reacts immediately with a focused sound core. Yes, the sound is really, really focused. So as soon as you put the bow down, it goes straight into the core of the sound, which is great, especially if you have a violin that is not so responsive. Supports the radiance of the instrument in the long term. So I believe that's something I'm gonna notice in a few months if, if it really opens up the violin. A sound that fills the room and a broad range of sound colors. Yes, these are all great points and really true. Another thing that might sound very silly, but I'm a girl and I'm really into colors and into fashion. And of course, when you go on stage, you want your violin to be, you know, dressed in a, in a nice way. For me, it's a plus, is that the color of the strings is black. So as musicians, we love black. Black is our, our, is our color. And if you're in orchestra, especially, you will basically always wear black. You have this little uh, slogan here. Dress your violin in black, which I thought was really nice and really cute. So, as well as putting down all these valuable points, this little booklet does more for you. There's a little map here and it's called Sound Chart and basically Dominant Pro it's right in the middle, which means it has all of these points in balance. Now, the other strings you can see they might have a higher, you know, for example they may be more warm or more brilliant, but then they go far away from being, you know, more broad in sound or focused, so you can see all the different types. The other thing that is very interesting about this booklet, and that's something that we can always um, consider when buying strings, is um, how much we actually know in terms of uh, yeah, knowledge of what a string does for us. So here is very interesting, it tells you for each string, so E string, a string, D string and G string, the comparison between, for example, uh, steel core, silver, aluminium, um, gold in case, of, uh, in case of the E string. So you get the different materials and why are they different? Why sh you should buy one or another? You can, you can basically tailor your own set of string and you can decide which one you want to buy for each string basically each individual string so that is uh, carbon steel you can see here all the specifics i always get the removable ball not all e strings have this setup so in in this case i have a loop which means i don't have the i cannot have the ball end basically i always get the removable ball Great, so we got to the end of the Dominant Pro uh, Strings vlog. Hope you really enjoyed it. And please let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all, if you want to see more of this equipment, bow rosin, bow violin, uh, chin rest, shoulder rest, anything. Let me know which um, topics would interest you the most. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate your uh, support. All go out and enjoy the sunshine while we still can especially here in London. I don't know where you are, if it's sunny, I hope it is, and I'll see you very soon.